Welcome to Healthy Habits Channel. Here, we give you the latest and surest health facts as it relates to you. Today, we'll be explaining to you why most cancer patients get to develop anemia. Anemia and cancer are both common health conditions often thought of separately, but should they be? Probably not. A significant number of people with cancer also have anemia. Why is it so? What is the relationship between cancer and anemia? Anemia is a condition that can be caused by many things, including low levels of iron or the vitamin B12, malaria, or even lead poisoning. But in the context of a diagnosis of cancer, anemia can be caused by the cancer itself, chemotherapy treatments, or both. Before we continue, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a video. What is anemia? Anemia is a condition in which your body does not have enough red blood cells, the cells that carry oxygen to body tissues. Mild anemia may not bother you much, but moderate anemia causes fatigue and headache, among other symptoms, and severe anemia can be life-threatening. Iron deficiency anemia is caused by a shortage of iron and hence a lack of healthy red blood cells in the body. Your body makes red blood cells in bone marrow, a spongy material inside your body's longest bones. Anemia can be caused by loss of red blood cells, for example in times of bleeding, destruction of red blood cells, or the inability to produce red blood cells. Symptoms associated with anemia include dizziness, fatigue, chest pain, shortness of breath, or a racing heart. Relationship between cancer and anemia the cause of anemia could be the cancer itself or one of its complications. In general, cancer patients' red blood cells wear out faster than normal and are not replaced as quickly as they are needed. Cancer can slow down the body's ability to make new red blood cells or interfere with the body's ability to use stored iron. These are the two ways that explain cancers associated with anemia. 1. Cancers that involve the bone marrow. Blood cancers like leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma interfere with or destroy the marrow's ability to make healthy red blood cells. This is because the rapidly growing cancer cells compete with the marrow's function and interfere with normal red blood cell production. Other cancers such as breast cancer, bone cancer, prostate cancer that spread to the bone marrow can also cause anemia. This spread of cancer to other areas is called metastasis. 2. Cancers that cause blood loss Gastrointestinal, urinary tract, male genital, head and neck and cervical and vaginal cancers can cause bleeding and lead to anemia. Cancers of the gastrointestinal system like colon and stomach cancers can lead to anemia because of frequent bleeding often associated with those types of cancers. Hey, take note that while cancer can cause anemia, anemia alone does not cause cancer. Can anemia be associated with cancer treatment? Yes. Chemotherapy agents, which are the treatment agents for cancers, target rapidly dividing cells, which by definition are cancer cells. However, these chemotherapy agents are non-specific in that they also attack other rapidly dividing cells in the body. Hair follicles, the lining of the GI tract, and blood cells, says Dr. O'Neill, director of the Pediatric Liver Tumor Program, Boston, USA. If red blood cell counts get too low, patients can receive blood transfusions or red blood cell growth factors like erythropoiesis stimulating agents in hopes of increasing red blood cell production. Aside from chemotherapy, Radiation therapy to large areas of the body or to the bones in the pelvis, chest, legs, or abdomen can damage the bone marrow and cause anemia. For any anemia caused by a cancer, just taking iron pills or eating more red meat usually won't help. Except in cases of bleeding, anemia associated with cancer is usually not due to iron deficiency. So trying to increase your iron levels won't have much effect. It's important for both of these conditions to be treated aggressively when they happen together for the best possible health outcome. Remember, not everyone with anemia has cancer. Being anemic does not mean that you have cancer or that you will develop cancer. Cancer is clearly down on the list in terms of anemia's common causes. It can often show up in menstruating women, particularly athletes, 
The common causes of anemia include malaria, inherited conditions like sickle cell disease, thalassemia, and helminths like hookworm. So don't freak out if you ever feel like you're having signs of anemia or you're set to have anemia. Cancer is commonly associated with anemia, but anemia has many other causes that are not cancer. Hey guys, don't forget that the information contained in this video is meant to be helpful and educational, but is not a substitute for medical advice. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and to share with friends. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell if you wish to receive more videos from our channel.